Hi friends, I am with a new video on VBOT series. Today, we will be learning about how to import different objects from different sources into VBOTs. For example, if someone makes a new robot and you need to integrate the robot in VBOTs, this is a standard process which you need to follow. Or if you want to input a scenario like an environment in which your robot should operate like a city, a warehouse or different malls. So if I want to operate my robot in these environments, I need to import the environment from different formats like STL to VBOT understanding language that is Proto. So this is all theory. So today we'll be importing two objects, one being COVID-19 virus and second F-16 flight. So now for this, you need to know basics and I'll give you some resources from where you can download. So I refer GrabCAD. So this is an open source community where you can find different objects like you can have mechanical objects like this one. You can even have some robots, different types of robots. And we just need to find there are thousands and thousands of uh, designs which can be used. So today, as we defined, we are going to use F16. So this is a 3D model and its STL is available. So thanks to Alex who made this STL. So we'll download this STL from here. On the other hand, we'll have this COVID-19 virus and, but make sure when you download some design, you should have .stl. So we have .stl here, so we are good to download this. So we download and now I have downloaded it and I have saved it in this format. So. If I open COVID, I have a COVID.STL. So I downloaded it, I renamed the file, and now I have saved it as COVID.STL. And for this, I will need to make a Zacro file. So this file will be a bridge between your URDF and the proto, which VBOT understands. So usually, if you are roboticist or you know about robotics, many robots are defined by their URDFs. So if you provide a URDF of a robot, your raw system and other softwares understand that which links are with which transforms. So this Zacro is a type of file which converts itself to URDF. So you can go through details about Zacro in ROS wiki, you have named Zacro. I use Kinetic. So you can look into the examples on how to make a Zacro. So I will give you a small example where we make a robot named COVID. And this is a standard ROS wiki.org. Then we name a link named center. And we have origin to be 000, and we don't rotate. So roll pitch yaw will again be zero. Now we will have mass of our virus to be 50 kgs. And similarly, our visual links will again have origin zero. And here is the place where we put in our mesh file name. So I put here covid.stl because it is in the same directory. And I noticed that the virus size uh, made by designer is very big with respect to VBOT. So I scaled it. So I scaled it in all the directions by 0 0.01. And I give a basic gray color. So I set a color here. And we have visualization node here. And that is it. So we just have one link, which is named as center. And that is the COVID link. So we close the robot because our robot name is as well COVID. And now 
let's open a new terminal here we go to urdf2 proto and vbots has done a great job in making a package which converts your urdf to proto so this is a github repository by cyberbotics who are the makers of vbots and they have this package for urdf to zacro you just can do pipped install urdf to vbots and you are good to go so i just uh, ran this on my terminal so i have pipped file ready and i use pip3 so i use pip3 in my place so i copy this command into my terminal and i paste it here there are many options like disabling optimization so i think my mesh is bigger enough so i will disable optimization there are other options as well but i'll be using this one and i will write my urdf name here so our urdf name is uh, covid c capital dot zacro so i will write covid dot zacro yeah and when i run this oops this is because we don't have python i will need to do it in python 3 okay oh we are in the wrong directory we need to be here okay yeah so you see these meshes are being converted to required proto so it made one link and robot link name is center so it worked according to our requirements and you see in our folder structure we have a, a folder named texture and we got a covid proto so now this is the file which our vbots can understand so now once we made our proto we need to import it in our scene so in this we usually go to base node and these are the nodes which we often use but you see here there are options where proto node current project so if i click on the option i get covid and f16 when i click on covid and add it will take few seconds to add in our scene as the proto is big in size so you see it took some time and now we can see covid getting into vbots so now we need to take care of the simulation because we need to wear mask and gloves to do the further simulation or else we may be infected so now let's see we have just three options translate rotate and controller but if you see and i know this color doesn't resemble to corona and if someone says that i want to change the color or i want to change the properties like adding a bounding object changing weight or adding one more shape to this virus these features can be changed but options are not available so my good friend suggested that there is an option when you right click and when you go to convert to base node you convert your proto into your base node so let's do it it will take some time yeah so you see here your name covid converted to robot and you have all the features which we initially used to see in custom robot so now this was an example of covid in this place you could have introduced a robot or a scenario and you can very well go into child and add nodes if you want i think we'll change 
the appearance. So let's see if we can tweak the scenario. So let's make this red in color. So you see our virus got red in color and now it seems it's more dangerous. And similarly, we can change other features, even bonding object. So if I click on bonding object, use, I can use same COVID. So this will enable me to have a bonding object around its feature. So even if something gets inside here, it is a free space. So that is a very good feature in VBots. Even in physics, I can change the mass to 50. And similarly, you can change center of gravity, density and stuff. You can even add sensors in COVID. And if you add a distance sensor, it will tell you how far it is from you and how safe you are. Similarly, we can we'll add F16. So if I click on F16, it's the same feature. I got F16. We can so make a note that you will get protos in weird shapes when they enter because it will take transformation system in which it was made. So now see our F16 is straight and same if I want to change the color. Now you guys know we need to click on convert to base node. So it got converted and now I can go to child shape appearance and let's give this a green color nice green color so you see this is how we can add different objects you can add n number of flights or more number of coronavirus but i will recommend you to not add them stay at home and delete coronavirus from this world so this was all about adding different objects from web to vbots if you like the video do share and share your screenshots of what all you imported from the your design or from web to vbots thank you